Thompson drops to 30, and the Warriors win 24 coming off three pointers. Uh, his personal record is 76 and 15 in his career when he scores at least 30 points. That's the best record by any player in NBA history. Let's delve into game two some more with Stephen A. Smith, who joins us in the studio. Good to have you here. Good to be here. When this series began, rightfully so, we talked a lot about Steph Curry and LeBron James, but so far the central figures have been Anthony Davis and Klay Thompson. Klay Thompson in game two, what impressed you most about his performance? Well, he needed to show up. He, he needed to show up and look like Klay Thompson. And that's exactly what he did. He dropped 30. He was hitting threes from all over the place. There was no hesitancy on his shot at all. And that's what you need to see from Klay Thompson. Remember, they're going to key on Steph Curry. Yep. When he's off the ball, you're going to have somebody face guarding him at all times, no matter how many times they have to switch just to keep an adversary in his face. If he's got the ball in his hands, they're going to try to pressure him 94 feet, try to drain him out. He needs help. And the help needs to come from his splash brother teammate, which is Klay Thompson. When Klay is flowing, obviously that makes life easier for Steph and the Golden State Warriors. They get off. In the case of Anthony Davis, listen, in even an odd number of games, believe it or not, one, three, five, another game won in a Western Conference series. He's averaging like 28 and 17 on 55 percent shooting. In those even number of games, yeah. it dips to like 13 points, 11 rebounds on 39 percent shooting. Coming into Game Two. To Tonight. This is what you have to worry about with Anthony Davis. I knew when he played 45 minutes the other night, he was going to have some trouble tonight. Was that just an off night for him, or do you think it was something that the Warriors did to limit his effectiveness? No, I'm going to say it was an off night because he had plenty of opportunities inside and a little bit extended beyond the paint where he was wide open and just couldn't drain shots. He didn't look like he had the legs under him. He certainly didn't look enthused about playing, and obviously when he looks like that, it compromises the success of the Los Angeles Lakers, and it most certainly did tonight, as you can see. Yeah, this one got away from him, but they get the split yes. in the Bay. Coming back home, what are the adjustments Darvin Ham needs to make to, to regain, regain home court advantage? Well, the number one thing is you've got to get rest for Anthony Davis. Make sure he's got his massage. Make sure he's got his pedicures. Make sure he gets his any kind of therapeutic medicine that you yeah. can provide. Make sure he gets that. Make sure he's ready for game three because LeBron James can't do but so much compared to what he did in the first half in game two. But the other parts are going to have to step in and help out. D'Angelo Russell, Hachimura, obviously Austin Reeves. They're going to have to be factors in this series offensively because no matter how much you stymie the Golden State Warriors, they've shown you repeatedly throughout the years that spurts are coming. They and Even when they're struggling offensively, yeah. even if it's just for a few minutes, right. they're coming. <laughs> you have to be ready, and you have to be ready for that onslaught, and you go, the only way you can deal with it is to be able to put points in the hole yourself. That's what the Lakers have to be ready to do. All right, Game 3 Saturday here in Los Angeles. You sticking around? I'm sticking around. All right, we'll talk to you again soon. Then. No doubt. Steph Curry is sticking around after his 20-point, 12-assist performance. Here he is at the podium. There's a point of emphasis I'm trying to get the ball in my hands a little bit more to start, but the rest of it's just kind of read and react, taking what's there. Um, they obviously had a game plan, and we tried to <clears throat> make adjustments, and I'm sure that'll continue throughout the rest of the series. And that's the beauty of what we can do is play in a lot of different ways, trying to create good offense a lot of different ways, using gravity. Um, but that was connected with our defense and the emphasis on not fouling, trying to make uh, make them earn you know everything they got on that end of the floor. Obviously, Bron came out hot, hit some tough jumpers early, but we stuck with the game plan and, and uh, it played to our to our favor. You mentioned you know using gravity. Just what does going small, having that extra floor spacing, do for you guys, especially against a team with the Lakers' size? You got to give up something. Um, it's hard to be everywhere. All the what's that what's that movie or show that? Yeah, I think it's part of again how we're. <clears throat> um, Using our strengths to our advantage, you know, pick and roll. You got again. You got to give up something. So, as long as we're decisive and our the floor is spaced properly, you usually can find a good shot. And then you just got to knock them down. So Jermichael was huge coming in, being aggressive, being in the right spots. Uh, obviously, Clay got going early. We we found him in transition, and in the half court. Draymond was amazing in the pocket. Uh, 
you know, the Sacramento series, we, we found some success there, and then they tried to, you know, respond to that, and we figured that out. So I assume that'll happen with L.A. Same kind of vibe, but we'll have an answer for, for all of it. Steph, obviously the last playoff win you guys had, you, you scored 50, and it was a big deal. But does the, uh, the TCC in you like these type of wins where it's up and down the lineup, you know, all these people contributing, you only take 12 shots. Do you, do you get a special satisfaction out of that? I do, but I like to shoot too. <laughs> so just again, just finding ways to be impactful and be aggressive. And whatever's working, sticking with that until until you have to do something different. So we're capable of playing a lot of different ways. I'm capable of playing a lot of different ways. Um, you know, as long as we're just creating open shots, no matter who's taking them. And obviously tonight, I didn't have a lot of open ones for a reason. And uh, make the right make the right decision. Ball finds the right person, and uh, good things happen. Steph Draymond mentioned that Clay was particularly pissed off after last game. Uh, did you see that? Did you do you get a feeling what that might mean? And and do you, I don't know all playoff series are big, but do you, obviously it's Lakers, it's a team. He's not you know even none of you guys have played in the playoffs for, and he specifically hasn't played his childhood team. Do you sense some sort of added significance for him because it's the Lakers? Yeah, he talked about it before the series and how excited he was. Um, I don't know whether he's pissed off, you know, shots or the loss or both or all of it. Uh, he's a competitor and he uh, takes that stuff personally in terms of his performance and how he plays. And he's been that way his, his whole career. So whatever added fuel to the fire you need um, for him, whether that's, you know, the, the matchup itself or the the personal history of, you know, fandom that he had. And now it's, you know, a guy that's trying to chase his for the championship, like all that stuff matters. Um, we got to find motivation to to keep the the fuel going. So uh, whatever motivates him, I love it. Jermichael mentioned um, the the speech you gave before Game Seven helped kind of get him out of his feelings a little bit. Um, have I mean, was that in some ways kind of the purpose of it? And just what did you think of of what he's done in this series? We talk about it a lot in the sense of it's really difficult at you know at times for a lot of guys to keep uh, confidence in themselves, to trust that the work that you're putting in on a day-to-day -day basis to keep yourself ready and in shape and your skill set sharp, that it'll pay off because you don't know when it's going to be. And historically with our team around our core, we talked about it. There's guys that always find a way to step up at the right times, and you know whether you need that reminder or um, just that that message that it's gonna it's gonna happen. Um, I'm glad it worked, and I'm glad it, that he took it to heart. And it's a big part of who we are as a team and our identity and our culture. And like I said, it's it's just not. I know it's not easy. So credit to him to you know staying ready, staying. Um, you know, sharp mentally, confident in himself to knock down those shots and take what the defense has given him. And, uh, you know, that's that's him being professional and taking advantage of the opportunity. Steph, with the uh, 12 assists tonight, should we be calling you Magic Curry now? Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> do, you, do, you do you take an extra pride in – doing things in a traditional way, even if you're not a quote unquote traditional point guard. I mean, the labels and all that stuff, I don't ever get into it just cause, you know, labels usually demean or kind of try to bottle up greatness in the sense of what we try to do on a night to night basis. So, um, like I said, we do it a lot of different ways. I try to do it a lot of different ways. How you want to describe it or, or label it doesn't matter to me. It's just, when you watch us play, you know you know how we do things and, and how I try to impact games. Again, whether it's shooting 38 times or shooting 12 and trying to find, what again, what the defense is giving you. So I'm going to continue to do that and try to figure out the uh, – my aunt, she sends me uh, some 
amazing stuff from game to game, and she talked about just you know you're always trying to solve the Rubik's cube every every game, and it's it starts in a different place every time, so you're just trying to figure it out, and that's the beauty of basketball, um, and the way that you see it. So uh, I love that part of the game, and I have the ability to do a lot of different things in a lot of different ways. Stepped in. Well, the Warriors 